Hello beautiful person, welcome back to the channel. My name is Chu and today I'm going to be going over the three biggest beat making lessons I've learned from repeatedly placing one of South Africa's biggest rap stars, Young Chief. Yanga has gone on to achieve multiple awards and has even achieved a platinum selling status using my production. So that in itself warrants the creation of this video so that I can show the dope fam how to make trophy worthy music. But even beyond that, South Africa is my second biggest support base outside of the US, which I literally live in. So it's about time that I started showing them some love with more ZA curated content. Okay, so without too much more rambling, let's get into these tips because you're going to love them. Shout out to the comment winners. Comment below to be featured in the next video. Check out my new single, Euphoria. I'm actually starting to go ham on Spotify and I would love your support there. Please subscribe to my streaming channel where we stream four times a week. We actually have a lot of fun there. And check out the 14 drum kit where all drum sounds used in this tutorial can be found for free. Oh, and please drop a like on this video as it greatly helps my channel against the YouTube algorithm. And as you do, I wish you a wonderful learning experience. God bless you and enjoy. Using samples. So I've noticed something interesting about the beats Yanga picks. No matter what I send him, he always picks the beats that use samples. I have no idea why, but he just tends to gravitate towards those for some reason. Now, the samples I use to make beats for Yanga can come from literally anywhere. Looperman, YouTube, and even other producers. But the one source that has given me the most consistent success has been Tracklib. Like literally every time I've placed Yanga, it's been a Tracklib sample. Or at the very least, it was a sample that could have been found on Tracklib. That being said, it's such a great honor to have Tracklib sponsoring this video because they are the world's first and only online record store. They have over 100,000 pre-cleared records for you to start sampling from right away, including pieces from Isaac Hayes, Louis Armstrong, and The Meditations. This means you can log into Tracklib right now and find a sample to start working with immediately, which is insanely dope. In a second, I'll be using their highly developed search parameters to find the perfect Yanga inspired sample. And then later, when I send this beat to Yanga, he or I can clear the sample for only $50. Actually, since most of Tracklib samples are in the C category, 90% actually, they can be cleared for only $50, allowing for two to 20% revenue share. This is a really convenient way to find and clear samples Samples, especially when you compare it to the traditional method of paying anywhere from $5,000 to $200,000, drafting many contracts and going through countless lawyers over an excruciatingly long period of time. From experience, I know how difficult this can be, which is why I know that Tracklib can save any musician tons of hassle. Tracklib has given me a special link where you can access their entire platform for 30 days at no cost. And on top of that, they threw in 15 download tokens so you you can get to crate digging right away. Huge thank you to the wonderful people over at Tracklib for sponsoring this video and making this dope content possible. Yes, this is an ad, but I've made it a huge point to never advertise for companies I don't f with. I'll never shill garbage on my audience, which is why you can say a lot about me, but you can never say I've done a unison ad. So just know that I trust and use Tracklib on the regular, which is why I'm so happy they gave you a chance to try their platform for free so you can see for yourself how awesome they are. Now that that's all out of the way, here's the sample that I chose. Okay, now we can move on to 808s, which is the second tip I have for you. So if you've been paying attention to the last few videos I've dropped on this channel, then it's definitely gonna seem like I'm beating a dead horse here. But this is a point that I have to drive home because I feel partly responsible for the misconception. Simple 808 patterns are the way to go. And by simple, I really do mean just that root note. If you wanna get fancy, you can add in the octave here and there. And if you're feeling particularly spicy, you can even add a fifth. But I'm telling you, brother, those singing 808s are particularly distracting to the artist. I've had to learn from many painful experiences that artists just do not care about the same thing that producers do. I know you love your melodic 808 patterns and maybe your producer buddies do too, but when it's time to send the beats to the artist and get those placements, you need to cut that 
out particularly if you're on the beginner side of things. Trying to do too much with your 808s will only have you focusing on something that's way too complex and might actually ruin the overall quality of your beat. Some of the hardest beats I have ever heard an artist on literally just rock that 808 on the root note for like 95% of the song. That being said, here's the 808 pattern that I came up for this beat. As you can hear and see, it really is just the root note with the octave, which again is just the root note, but one octave up. And then I did toss in a fifth for some spice here and there. Oh, I also added some hard ass drums from the 14 drum kit. So be sure to download that for free in the description below. Check out what I came up with. So the last tip I have for you is genuine communication. So yeah, this isn't exactly a beat making tip, but it's the best reason I can come up with and give you for why Yanga and I keep connecting for the hits. We've gotten to a point where we communicate pretty well. Now, <laughs> it wasn't always like this. Actually, there was a time where we hated each other. This was due to a huge misunderstanding and a ton of immaturity on my part. To this day, it remains one of the biggest regrets I have in terms of mistakes that I've made in a personal relationship. But I'm pretty grateful that Yanga has some upper level skills in managing particularly problematic situations. And I can't lie, I'm pretty grateful for my development and general growth as a man. This has all led to a pretty solid relationship that allows us to keep delivering South Africa hit after hit. The TLDR for this last tip would be this. Artists much prefer to use beats from producers that they trust and that they believe have their best interests at heart. In my own personal experience placing artists, this more than anything else has been the biggest factor in making that legendary connection. So in conclusion, these will be my three tips for getting placements with artists. Now, this is in no way a definitive or exhaustive guide, but I've never really seen this topic addressed in the way that I presented it in this video. So I really do hope that this got you to think in a new and creative way. Please share this video with a friend who could use some help chasing their placement dreams based on some information that has some pretty solid ground. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. If you don't, your FL Studio will freeze the next time you use it, you'll spill coffee all over your MIDI keyboard, and your crush will call your next beat trash. Wait, really? I mean, probably not, <laughs> but seriously, why chance it? Peace. All right, so I just got done with editing for this video about placements and what I know about placements just based off my experience with artists, but mostly with Yanga, because that seems to be what a lot of people care about the most, especially the people in South Africa. Shout out to the people at ZA, I love you guys. Look, man, okay, I'm working on the beat battle. I'm working on it, okay? Stop emailing me. I mean, keep emailing me, because I love y'all, but like, I'm working on it, bro, okay? It's a lot of judges, it's a lot of beats, it's like 200 people, bro, I, I'm working on it, okay? I get it, y'all wanna fucking win the shit, bro, like, I get it, I get it, okay? I'm working on it, I'm working on it, all right? If y'all wanna just, you know, motivate me and keep showing support go listen to you for you you know what i'm saying hit the link in the bio go save it you know what i'm saying be on the lookout because i'm gonna be dropping singles basically every two weeks damn near every week so tap in with me over there tap in with me on the streaming channel i'll be dropping on there three times a week y'all want to keep seeing contests i mean y'all want to keep seeing content and you know hop into beat battles and stuff well if you want to see more content go to the streaming channel i'll be on there three times a week i'll be dropping videos on there every day you want to be in beat battles join the dope click get on my email list i got two forums going right now two of them two of them two of them beat battles beat critiques everything one of them is free it's like 200 people in there tap in tap in don't be like asking questions and you ain't tapped in you know what i'm saying come on come on come on all right i love you guys i love you guys I love you. All right. Thank you for watching this video, man. I'm going to be back with the beat battle soon. Probably next week. If not the week after, you know what I'm saying? But it's coming. It's coming.